What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World. Today, we're going to be making an abstract marble run using only squares. After we make the run, we'll also be having a race, so definitely stick around till the end to find out which marble will win. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump right in. So here we are in the playroom once again, and today we'll be using squares to make a marble run. As you can see, I got a few squares out here. Uh, we can also change the size of them using the size tool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be messing around with that too much, but let's go ahead and get started on this marble run. Uh, I'm going to start off by using the big squares on the sides to kind of keep the marbles in. So I'm just going to start placing a few of these here, something like, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this guy here for the other side. And then I'm going to start using these larger or these, uh, these medium sized squares here to start making the run. So I'm just going to place this one really quick. Um, I'll do it sort of like that. I think I need to fix this though. It's a little off. There we go. That's lined up now. And uh, I'm going to move this square here. So the marbles actually, I don't know if I have to do that because this guy will actually come down. So right here looks good kind of. And then I'll do another square right next to this one, kind of like that. And can I get in between that? No. All right, I'm going to take it off the grid so I can get it a little bit higher. And then I'll do another one right next to it, like so. All right, perfect. So we got a little start to the run here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this a few times. Bringing it down a level, of course. And I am going to shift this around a little bit just to give it more of a dynamic look. Something like that works pretty well. And I think I can just copy paste this whole area a couple times just to make it a bit faster. That looks good. Now I'm going to get some larger squares here and kind of continue the side walls. And uh, nothing really has to be perfect. Uh, I'm going for like pretty abstract or abnormal look here. Uh, I don't want anything to be kind of uniform. And but ooh, I also don't want things to be higher. Oh, that's not exactly higher, is it? No, that's just OK. That was just kind of an illusion. So I think I'm going to change the pattern slightly here. We'll do a big jump there, we'll do a smaller jump there. And yeah, so I'm basically going to kind of continue this just to make it look uh, as random as possible. And uh, hopefully it looks good in the end. I think I can just copy paste this. Okay, so here is the start to our marble run and it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, I'm going to copy paste these walls just to try to make it look even, even ish uh, with the end here. All right. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and painted everything and it's looking pretty darn good. This is what we have at this moment. I've also added a couple more uh, spawners here and I made it a little bit more dynamic by adding some bigger blocks into the mix. And then I painted everything and I kind of re- uh, copy pasted it and this is where we're at it's looking pretty darn good except we now need to add another section i'm thinking right about here i don't know what to add yet i'm thinking maybe just using these big guys and possibly doing some kind of corkscrew with them i'm not really sure how to do it yet but i think i'm gonna go like this way maybe come back around uh, i don't know i'm just gonna start building and see what happens definitely need to shift some things around a couple are getting stuck there just bring that down and that should work now perfect so i have to go back and color this and uh but before i do that i think i'm just gonna start working on the next section i don't really know if there was an a paint feature where you could just automatically paint everything a random color that'd be really cool or maybe you could pick some colors from a pool and then just hit auto uh that would be very helpful right now because having to paint all these things different colors is uh, more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> so not everything is going to look the greatest, but I am going to keep painting this because, uh, yeah, I've already started. So here we go.
Okay, so I might have missed something and the colors might not be the greatest, but uh, I think this should be good enough. Uh, we do got a lot of clipping going on. I'm trying to fix that. I'm not really a big fan of that happening. Uh, but anyway, I think it's time to work on the next section. I'm really not sure what to do next. I don't even know if this is going to be that good. I haven't even tested it. Uh, the marbles could uh, maybe get stuck on these. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue this run. It is, I don't know what to call this. It's, it's abstract. That is for sure. Uh, so what is next? Uh, I suppose we could make... Hmm. Hmm. All right, I kind of have an idea. I think I'm going to use the big squares again, but I want to maneuver these in a way to where the marbles will go back and forth, like left and right. So I think I'm going to have to angle this to left and down. Get another one right there. And then I'll copy paste this, bring it forward, down, and then go the opposite direction if I can. So like that, I'm going to have to put sidewalls up as well, I think, but this might look pretty cool to have the marbles go back and forth. So maybe I'll just copy paste this section here. All right, hopefully that looks cool. I do need to do sidewalls here again because the marbles are going to fall out. So I'm going to make the sidewalls now. All right, I suppose I should test this. So I'm going to send the marbles down just to make sure everything works and none of the marbles are going to get stuck. I'm just going to follow them along here. And here is the new section. And <laughs> it kind of, it, they kind of hit it. Yeah, okay, it works. It works good enough. Anyway, all the marbles do make it, but they are not even going left to right, uh, which is fine, I suppose. That didn't work as expected. Oh, well. All right, I'm just going to fix a few of these sections and uh, I'm going to work on the next one. <laughs> Hopefully this next one actually works as intended. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I suppose I'll do some sort of snake. So I'm going to use these smaller guys.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the track has finally been completed. As you can see, we actually have a finish down here. It's a little wild at the end, but that is okay. Uh, before we do the race, however, I am going to make some kind of cinematic so you can kind of see the track from the marbles perspective. Let me know if you guys like this sort of thing, and we're going to start that now. All right, I realize this is a pretty short track, but uh, as you can see, a lot of work actually went into it. Uh, there are a lot of pieces. It's not just like placing a track piece. Uh, each track piece, I would say, is made up of a bunch of pieces. So anyway, we are about to have a race here. So go ahead and pick whatever marble you think is going to win. And uh, I'm going to slow it down a little bit as this is a pretty fast track. And I'm going to start the race in three, two, one. There we go. The gates are down and the marbles are away. Who do you think is going to win this? Uh, I'm going to go with Mushroom Marble. Mushroom Marble is kind of sort of not in the lead any longer. Probably doesn't have a chance, but we'll see what happens. We got a couple of grass marbles up front, followed by a watermelon. Can they hold this lead? The chances are kind of doubled for uh, the grass marble here as long as it does not get stuck. And uh, it is now taking a pretty massive lead, but Watermelon is chasing down and does get the lead, but the Black sneaks in front of Watermelon. I don't know if any of the marbles behind it will have a chance. We will have to see here. Is Black going to be able to take the win here? It just might, and it does. Black Marble has won the race. And uh, as you can see, the wildness is about to happen as all the other marbles just kind of shoot over. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.